is a blustery day. Blustery but sunny in Edmonton, Alberta. And we are on a right of way. See by the parking and the lights and so on. We got another place for lease. It's becoming a epidemic of places that are unable to pay their rent. It seems like Chandra. Isn't that the name of the guy from uh, the UCP party, or is it Shando? But uh, this is, I believe, the location of the Edmonton West Probation Office. So we're going to check out the building and see what's going on. So this is the front door over this way. This location has better reviews than the downtown location. I actually can't really read that sign. I wonder if I zoom in if I'll be able to see it now. Um, residential and placement services. Yeah, a lot of the people who end up in probation offices are not people who did anything wrong. They're mostly people who can't afford lawyers. People who can afford lawyers, even if you do something pretty, pretty heinous, um, most of the time uh, a good lawyer will get you off or, or uh, you know, really reduce the, uh, the issues for you. But if you can't afford a lawyer, most of the time duty counsel or uh, legal aid or any of those kinds of guys, they're just not getting paid that much. They only got like a thousand bucks or whatever. So they don't want to do any work. And they'll just tell you truthfully that if you want to avoid jail, the best thing is just to plead guilty. If it's a summary offense, you're not going to go to jail. They'll instead give you some probation, some community service. So a lot of the people in and out of these buildings are completely innocent or have done incredibly minor infractions that, that are not in the public interest to send them here, but they will be sent here anyways. And uh, of course, a lot of times that comes with conditions, it could be no drinking or drugs, it could be no going out after a certain time at night. No hanging around with certain people, no contact with certain people, maybe no uh, going on the internet. There's all kinds of different crazy things that they can tag on you. So if you happen to lose track of time on a, on a sunny summer day and you go out after 10 o'clock to go get a soda at the Max Milk and the, the cops stop you, you can find yourself in violation of your probation. So when you end up with a revolving door where people who otherwise were completely innocent are forced into a life of crime because there's nothing else for them. They can't get a job anymore. No matter how hard they try to do the right thing, they always find themselves back in the same places. Even uh, judges will take he said, she said, literally absolutely no evidence. Anyone can simply accuse you and say you've done them wrong, and judges may find you guilty. Because they will weigh your credibility. And if they see you have a record and the other person has a family and a good job or maybe a position of authority, a cop, a social worker, city worker, basically anyone, a security guard, even just nobody's really, they may find you guilty though you've done no wrong. So, uh, that's the kind of people we get in, in places like this. And so I wanted to come down today uh, do an audit in the area. Another thing that I liked about this place was um, the fact that it's a uh, right of way. You can clearly see this is a parking zone. You can see over there there's some no parking signs a little further up. 
just for that little section, okay? But then over this way, there are cars on both sides. Um, we've already established that the survey lines require a minimum of 33 feet from the center of the road on both sides as a right of way, which anyone can use. Say your car breaks down, you get a flat. Um, you, there's no sidewalk and you need to go from one street to the other. You need to get out of your car, etc. You don't have to crawl through the window on the driver's side. You can simply step out onto the grass. Why? Because it is public property. So I wanted to do a right-of-way audit today. So we're going to walk around a bit and I might come back to this location. Private property, park at your own risk. Unauthorized vehicles may be tagged and towed by cliffs towing at the owner's expense. This is Liebel, Liebel Insurance Group. Ach du Liebel. Das ist da dein Insurance Group. Remember when I said I didn't show you last? I lied. And so on. Life is an endless series of Simpsons references. Looks like a possible police officer up over this way. Let's continue to walk along. Let's see what they've got to say. Some police. Whether they're here for to see what I'm up to or not, I don't know yet. But we're gonna go and take a look anyways. We saw him do a turnaround. So we will I will continue up to the uh, parking lot up nice and high. There we go, Mr. Police Officer. He's decided. Looks like he is not interested in engaging. That person doing public photography. At this point in time, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that situation. Here, it's, uh, here's this other cop's gonna pull up over this way. So we get some interaction. This is A21. Can't remember. I guess A is the West uh, Department. We'll go take a look at this guy up over here as well. Got A35. Hello, sir. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Any chance I get your name and register number? Yeah, it's registry Thanks. Thanks, man. You out of the West Division? Yeah. Nice. I couldn't remember by the uh, code. I think Y was maybe Southeast. And F was north or southwest, and then F was northwest, and then D was downtown. So I'm slowly getting familiar. Yep. Are you doing the documentary of sorts? I'm working on a story. Oh, I'll keep you. You too. Thank you. Uh, we'll stick around for a minute here, and we'll. See what's going on because there is two police officers here, two cars. So that uh, guy seems friendly enough. He's slightly blocking the entrance way here, but it seems pretty obvious to me that he's here to see what's going on, but do his business in peace as long as he's peaceful. Look, it's windy. 
windy. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear anything on this video. I did do an audit of the West uh, uh, Police Station, by the way, guys. I did not post it yet. I don't know if I'm going to. The reason is because absolutely nothing happened. Um, there were some people in the parking lot. Um, I mean, that was about it. There was really nothing at all went on. Um, no, no issues. I did not go inside. They were not as uh, obtrusive with the signs. They did not try to put up signs claiming that they were private property or anything like that. They did not put obnoxious fences up or anything like that. So, And uh, they seem to have better reviews than some of the other uh, stations. So, um, I didn't put it up only because I didn't think that much was going on there. But if you guys would like to know, my first visit to the Edmonton West Police Station, in my opinion, was a pass. So, here we now we've got a couple of guys from this uh, division. I know that there's a few people who, who are waiting for me to do um, a silent, uh, you know, uh, audit. Um, but uh, I, I prefer to uh, be, be friendly um, where, it's, where it's called for. And, and if you watch through my videos, you'll see that I mean, I'm not... It really depends on the situation. Friendly for no reason. If, they don't, if it's not warranted, they're not going to get it. So that officer drives away. I gotta say, they're 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 uh, since since the the situations uh, uh, back in April, uh, things have really really turned around, and I think it's sure is good timing because they're very very close to. You that new police act coming out and they're going to be stripped of a lot of their deals and a lot of their funding. So, if you want to rebuild your trust with the public, this is the time to do it. Be friendly, build some community spirit, show people that you're that you're with them, that it's not an us versus them kind of a situation. That you're here because you want to, you want to live in a safe community, just the same as them. You live in this community, cops live in this community, they, we live in this community, so... We're all in this together, man. We all want to live safely and, and live free lives in a, in a democratic society and, and free from the clutches of criminals. So as long as, uh, you know, as long as police are, are uh, obeying the law, that's that's all I ask out of them. I'm not, I'm not the, the defund uh, crowd. I don't want to have anything to do with those guys. We need good cops. Police men to do his job. He's getting it going. All right, we'll leave him. doing there but got out of his car so take a, take a quick look
What's going on, man? I'm not sure what this development is here. going on here exactly but it could be anything from uh, this is a person who called the cops on me to he's just getting uh, some papers from an officer it could be regarding an investigation it could be any number of things but let's assume the best Himself dealing with the police as another officer pulls up. Far off over there. I'm curious if it's the same guy or not. It's on the odd case that it's uh, just some random dude. and make sure everything is going smooth. A story recently of, uh, it happens pretty often where a situation takes place and the police need some help. I think it was a police ACER incident and they were asking if anyone had any uh, video of the event. And they were asking to turn that into the police. So, you know, many times you find yourself in a situation just like this, and it can be very valuable that uh, somebody is uh, is out there with uh, a camera. When you need it, you're sure happy when there's somebody that can bail you out of a traffic stop or a, a brutality situation or God knows what, right? You know, it can be a very isolating experience sometimes dealing with the police. And, and frightening, and you can feel all alone. It can be very depressing. So, so even though, again, you might not like it in the moment, you'll usually be happy that there's someone who can... Uh, you can capture what went down for posterity and make sure that your rights are being preserved.
we'll see what happens after the fact. Keep our eyes out for these cars as I'm walking away. I say I'm not really doing too much for uh, covering. I do have my mouth covered with my neck gaiter. Don't have my nose covered today because it fogs up the glasses. Um, it's pretty hot out today too. There's a blustery wind, so that's helping a lot. But otherwise, it's it's a little uh, you know. So it's a little uh, hot out today. But I always wear pretty much the same thing. Make myself very obvious, you know. I, I just do those things again because I like to cover my bases. So, so when someone is a tyrant to me, let no one ever say afterwards, "Well, hey, you know, you kind of brought it on yourself." No, I didn't. I'm just standing on a public property and taking pictures. So you get a friendly wave from this guy. Thanks. There you go, man. There's no uh, follow-up. This, uh, this is a solid pass for me, man. Friendly, didn't bother me, didn't ask me uh, too much uh, questions. Uh, came and did his job and left peacefully. see folks there's there's hope yet there's hope yet folks